What is good, YouTube? Hey, Tom just dropped. Tom just dropped. And uh, the song is called Me Versus You. I'm going to tell you it's a political song. I already know it is because it's Me Versus You, right? And in his thumbnail, he's got the left, uh, you know, with their mask screaming one thing. He's got the right with their stuff screaming at each other. And then in here in this, in this intro here, he's got him wearing blue, him wearing red. And so this should be fun. This should be fun. Now, before we get into this, y'all know the routine. Y'all know the routine. Hit that subscribe button right there. Booyah! And uh, we're on the road to 5K. Uh, let's get there. I can't do it without you guys. But without further ado, let's just uh, let's jump into this. Tom, tell me what you got. I'm the one that you hate for making America great And I'm the one who's trying to build back better We ain't the same Yeah, you're right, there's a difference Y'all are woke and we're awake What a joke, does white privilege have something to say? Yo, pres- Okay, so we're gonna start this over I love this, I love this angle Because he, <laughs> he's talking about two different people Fighting against each other The divide in the country, right? But it's the same people It's- Literally, I mean, he's Canadian, but he's an American, right? He's been here 10 years. I don't know. I don't know citizenship, citizenship status, but regardless of that, Americans, we are all Americans and we're fighting one another and it's just two sides of the same coin. So let's, let's hit this. This is great. I'm the one that you hate for making America great. And I'm the one who's yep. trying to build back better. We ain't the yep. same. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. What yep. a joke. Does white privilege have something to say? Yo, yep. president drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through the roof. There ain't no jobs to be found. Inflation going up. My kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows it. He will never make America great again like the slogan. He a white supremacist. Just like all of you who voted that is i love this because it's it's literally the arguments from both sides right it's literally um and look at the hate that that he has with himself here because it's it's just listen a wise man once said and you guys will know who i'm quoting here as soon as i say it a house divided cannot stand and we are dividing amongst ourselves over two old people who don't give a rip about any of us <laughs> and another in Washington. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is great. I love this. I love this. But this is these are the arguments. You're a homophobe. You're a bigot. You're a Nazi. You're a racist. You know, uh, you voted for, you know, a pedophile. No, you voted for someone who tried to usurp, you know, democracy and, and these arguments. And it's just ridiculously like we're just tearing. We're throwing grenades at each other. And we'll never heal while we're fighting, you know, while we're stabbing each other. Going up, my kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows yeah. it. He will never make America great again like the slogan. Those he a white arguments. supremacist, just like all of you who voted. That is not facts. All you woke morons do is talk trash. Drag queens in classrooms hate anyone who's not black. You're pro-white. You know that's what the Klan members are, right? You're anti-LGBTQ, then why are they always on your mind? Bro, you're a boy, you're a girl. Stop playing stupid. <laughs> Those are the arguments. <laughs> Those are the arguments. Those are literally all the arguments. That This is literally what I hear people say on both sides. <laughs> I may have said some of this. I've said this to someone because someone will, will go to me uh, and he'll only message me. He's a, okay, I'll, I'll give you the backstory. He's a, he's a pastor of a church that I got kicked out of for being inclusive. And, uh, or he was a pastor there. And every about six months, he'll send me something about anti-health. <laughs> GBT Christianity or something. And I'm just like, you know, and I I would, and he would bait me and I would talk with him and we'd go back and forth a little bit. But I'm at the point now where when he messages me, because that's the only thing he talks about, I'm like, bro, this is all you think about. Are you secretly in the closet? Do you need help coming out? I can help you with that. And uh, he hasn't messaged me since. But <laughs> literally, these are the arguments. These are the arguments. Literally both sides. A white supremacist, just like all of you who voted. That is not facts. All you woke morons do is talk trash. Drag queens in classrooms hate anyone who's not black. You're pro-white. You know that's what the Klan members are, right? You're anti-LGBTQ. Then why are they always on your mind? Bro, you're a boy. You're a girl. Stop playing stupid. You're screwing up the youth and all the children are our future. You don't care about the kids. Look at all the school shootings. You're pro-gun. It's your fault. Stop ha. making those excuses. You think any 
these you are the argument. These are, this is, I love this because this is what happens. This is exactly, it's going down that tunnel, right? You know, one says this and then it, then this says this in response and this says this in response. And it's just this non-ending fighting me against you. Kids, look at all the school shootings. You're I love gun. It. It's your fault. Stop making those excuses. You think anyone who don't agree with you is just a bigot. You're a fascist. You're a Nazi. You're just mad because you triggered. You're just jealous of the left because we're progressive and we're winning. Now I'm tripping that you won the election because you rigged it. They put you on the left. They put you on the right. They <laughs> Listen, Tom nailed it on this one. Tom, you nailed it. You absolutely nailed it on this one. That is exactly all that is going on in our culture. That is exactly it. It's blah, 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 blah. And we have our arguments and our counter arguments. No one's listening. Everyone's just barking. You're hearing the words that the opponent says, but you're not hearing what they say. Oh, 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 and this is both sides guilty of this. Oh, I love you. Just I mad love you this. You're just jealous of oh, the left because oh, we're progressive. Oh, 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 and I'm tripping. You hit this one out of the park. Boom. And that oh. you won the election because you rigged it. They put you on the left. They put yep. you on the right. They tell you what to hate. Then they tell you who to fight. Till you're screaming. Yep. Screaming. screaming. You. They put you on the right. They put you on the left. They tell you who to hate. They do anything to get you. I like how he how he he's keeping this neutral so far, right? He's like, yeah, they put you on the left, they put you on the right, and he's like, we're not gonna list one. Now then, he says, we put you on the right, we put you on the left. Um, he's not gonna give anyone like at this point in the song, he doesn't give anyone credence over the other. He's simply stating the facts from both sides, not the facts, the 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 things we're fighting over on both sides. I love this. I love this. And this stance right here, hold on. I we're progressive and we're winning. Now I'm tripping that you won the election because you rigged it. They put you on the Right there, when he's doing this little dance, I'm waiting for him to do a little, you know, dance of some sort and have some backup dancers come up behind him as he does a little Justin Timberlake moves. <laughs> this progressive and we're great. winning. Now this I'm tripping great. that you won the election because you rigged it. They put you on the left, they put you on the right. right. They tell you what to hate, then they tell you who to fight till you're screaming. Yep. Hey, you. Screaming. Hey, you. You. you cannot win people that you're throwing grenades at. You've got we've gotta find a way to come together and breathe and trust that both sides have good intentions. Because both sides wanna take care of their families, whether it's a traditional family or a, an alternative family. Both sides want to have, you know, a living wage. Both sides want to have, you know, uh, to live their lives in freedom. So yeah, we just gotta come back together on this. Dude, I love this so much. I love this. Screaming. Screaming. And I'm a Democrat, I'm a liberal. They put you on the right, they put you on the left. They tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you. Screaming. Draining the swamp, we building walls. Your president opened the border for one and all. Now there's murderers and criminals evading the law. Walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic, saved the economy. And it Dude, I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying, Tom's not out of touch when it comes to the arguments on both sides. He literally is taking the 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 argument points, the the things that we lit. I, I just I keep saying this all over again. This is literally what we hear on the news 24 seven, seven days a week, you know? And it's like, there's no more love, no more grace, no more benefit of the doubt, no more trusting your neighbor, no more, you know? I love the old school ways where you just didn't talk about politics publicly, you just voted privately. Man, we should get back to those days. This is so good. <laughs> My president draining the swamp, we building walls. Your president opened the border for one and all. Now there's murderers and criminals evading the law. Walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic, saved the economy, and introduced legislation fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. You obviously pro-life. That's, dude, this is so funny because someone came up to me and says, I just had this conversation, uh, I, I released, um, uh, I think it was brainwashed the, a couple days ago, yesterday, whatever it was. And one of the guys commented on there and says, listen, how can you vote for a guy that 
whose son has addictions. That's a reflection of, of the father. The father didn't do it right. And I'm like, you know, it's so funny you say this on a Tom video because Tom has addictions. I mean, and are you saying that Tom's father is not a good father? I said, at some point, we got to take accountability for ourselves. At some point, we got to take accountability for ourselves, you know? Um, and did your parents approve of everything you did? <laughs> I know my parents didn't approve of everything I did. I could guarantee that. And I could guarantee I didn't approve or condone uh, some of the stuff that my kids did. That's just part, that's just part of the nature of the beast. Oh, this is so good. Uh, walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic, saved the economy, and introduced legislation fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. You obviously pro-life. A woman's choice is your right. I feel like abortion is important, and you don't like. You're treating it like birth control. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives. Wait, 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 what? Did this just flip on me? Did I hear this wrong? She's fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that honestly he's raising all our wages he can't raise his children properly you obviously pro-life a woman's choice is your right i feel like abortion is important and you don't like you're treating it like birth control you're treating them like your wife oh no 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 just the way no he's still st i thought sorry i thought i heard this wrong i for whatever reason when he said pro-life i heard pro-choice i'm like is he giving an argument is he having the red give the argument for for, for, for pro-choice um uh, my bad i heard that wrong i gotta kick this back one more time sorry guys this is to so America, good. our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic. Wait, wait, wait. What? Thank you. My president draining the swamp, we building walls. Your president opened the border for one and all. Now there's murderers and criminals evading the law. Walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic, saved the economy, and introduced legislation fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. You obviously pro-life. A woman's choice is your right. I feel like abortion is important, and you don't like. You're treating it like birth control. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter, and I also meant unborn life you're so clever go ahead make your little memes while we're bringing home the soldiers who were in the middle east okay you brought the soldiers home but then you burnt the flag and took a knee and left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless on the street Bill ba dude, this is so good this is so good dude i am i'm so like and i can't even like oh my gosh this is literally what's going on this is i just can't oh my gosh i'm almost i'm crying because it's so good um this is so accurate this is so accurate. Oh my gosh. No matter what your talking point is, someone's going to counter it with hate. And then you're going to counter that with hate. And then you're going to counter that with hate. Oh my goodness. This is so accurate. Birth control. Oh. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter and I also meant unborn life. I think this is my favorite political song from Tom. <laughs> this is because this is literally what's going on in our culture right now. Oh. Like birth control, you're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter, and I also meant unborn life. You're so clever. Go ahead, make your little memes while we're bringing home the soldiers who were in the Middle East. Okay, you brought the soldiers home, but then you burnt the flag and took a knee and left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless on the street. Build back better. There'll be violence and riots until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science. We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants. The right is fighting the system. The left is trying to divide us. And that is clown talk. All you got is me. Dude, this is I, I don't even know what to say here. Like, oh my gosh. He is literally taking every single talking point that that has gone on in social media for the last, I don't know, since 2016, literally. Uh, and he's just put it all into a song. And literally, he's not even like taking sides on this. He's literally just throwing the arguments how we fight. We fight, and it's literally me against you. I'm like I'm blown away at, at the simplicity of this video and just showing the just how ridiculous our fighting has gotten. It's so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I'm emotional on this one. Oh, this is so good. Like it took a so knee and good. left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless Woo! on the street. Build back better. There'll be violence and riots until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science. We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants. The right is fighting the system. The left designed to divide us. And that is clown talk. All you got is mean tweets. It's free speech. Call the cops. Dog, you defunded the police. This country will be better off without all you freaks. This is America, homie. If you don't like it, you can leave. They put you on the... Dude, this is seriously, oh my gosh, Tom, you hit this one out of the park. I'm telling you, this is so, this is exactly what's going on. Dude, Tom, Tom, you're woke. <laughs> no, no, he's awake. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. So good. The left, the 
put you on the right They tell you what to hate Then they tell yeah. you who to fight Till you're screaming yeah. Screaming yeah. They put you on the right They put you on the left They tell you who to hate They do anything to get you Screaming yeah. Yeah. Screaming yeah. No president will ever give a damn about the truth It don't Hear that Hear that and, and I'm gonna go a step further, okay? Because may maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe a president might care about the truth, okay? That's a stretch, that's a stretch. But I can guarantee you no president cares about you. No president cares about you. They don't even know who you are. They could care less. You are a number uh, on their platform to, to go for their position on anything. It doesn't matter which side. Dude, fat. Should have done this song facts. <laughs> no president will ever give a damn about the truth. It don't matter who's the winner, cause the people always lose. No president yeah. will ever break the system from inside. It's a deep state plan dividing us into sides. It don't matter. Listen to what he's saying, guys. This is exactly what the most people say on both sides. President will ever give a damn about the truth. It don't matter who's the winner, cause the people always lose. No president will ever break the system from inside. It's a deep state plan dividing us into sides. It don't matter yeah. if you're left, right, black, white, red, blue, conservative or liberal, rich, poor, me, you, Republican or Democrat, old, young, mean, cool. They promise us our freedom, but then all we get is free doom. They put you. I mean, come on. Who's gonna argue against that? Well, I'll tell you who's going to argue against that. The system. <laughs> the politicians. <clears throat> this is this is absolutely... Sp I'm just... I love this song. I love this song. I love this Old, song. young, mean, cool. They promise us our freedom, but then all we get is free doom. They put you on the left. They put you on the right. They tell you what to hate. Then they tell you who to fight. Till you're screaming. Screaming. They put you on the right. They put you on the left. I wish these two would come together and hug it out. This is so good. Dude, this is fire. Tom, Tom, you nailed it. That's exactly what we see. That's exactly what we see. Man, I wish we could just get through this garbage of just constantly hating on each other and just absolutely let that all go and find a way to work together. You know, one of the things I used to do with my boys when they were younger and they would be fighting each other is I would get an extra large t-shirt and I would put them on both of them. They'd have to wear the same t-shirt together and they'd have to work together for, for you know, the day. You know, maybe it's for like three, three hours or four hours, right? And the first couple of hours, they're at blows with each other, just fighting each other. But at some point, they're so exhausted that they're like, they're going to have to work this out. And I'm just sitting there like, dude, you're not getting out of that shirt until you work this out. You got to, you, you're not each other's enemies. You got to have each other's back. You guys are brothers. You're brothers. You, you know, and here's the reality. Guys, hear this. Please hear this. If you're on the left, if you're on the right, we are siblings. We are family. We've got to, at some point, take the gloves off and put on the hug and hug our siblings. Love on our siblings. This was great. This was fire. I am so stoked. I'm pumped. I'm glad that my Friday started with this one because that's a reality. Now, I wish it wasn't me versus you. I wish it was me with you, you know, hand in hand, arm in arm. And unless we start having these civil conversations where we stop calling people Nazis and lip tards and, and you know, all of these different things and we just have a real conversation this will never, it will always be like this. It will always be like this. So I'm off my tangent. This was a great video. Fire. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. I'm out. God bless you. Wow. That was sick.